Hey guys, how's it going? So I joined an SMP server called Stormcraft, and this is my first episode. So I hope you enjoy watching. We're just gonna go over some of the stuff that spawned with the guy that started the server, and his name's Stormy. And then I'm gonna make a sugarcane farm. Well, and also try and find a village. So I hope you enjoy watching. Besides, we also have kind of our work in progress shop right over here. Oops. Alright. I built this uh, another hub with the help of some of the people on the server. So, right down here, if uh, you ever just want to make a shop, you can just uh, claim one of the areas. Most of them aren't made, but. Uh, if you just want to follow the design, there's some blocks you can make your entrance to it. It's pretty simple. Or I can make it for you if you want. Yeah, we got a couple of shops down here. Okay. Uh, what, what kind of shops do you guys have? Uh, let's see, we got one where people look it. He has some dungeon loot, so you can buy some dungeon loot from there. Uh, there's a potato shop. Uh, and then there's my shop, which is potions. And there's one that's a villager shop. There's a couple that have been made. Culture shop, nice. And uh, so you can we have it to where you can make one in here, and if you want to make more, you can make one in spawn. Okay. So uh, as for like rules and guidelines stuff like that, uh, let's see. Uh, what's our rules and everything? Uh, you can prank if you want. Uh, you know, just be uh. Use discretion whenever you do it, whatnot. Yeah, nothing too crazy. So. Yeah. Uh, with uh, claiming the tunnels, uh, try to claim like the best one. Don't try to cut in front of each other. Uh, let's see. I have, I have like this whole list that I had ready, and then I can't remember it now. Uh, if you have any questions about anything, like whether rules or whatnot, just feel free to ask. Right, so you okay. take a look around and spawn real quick. Right over here is the uh, fishing shack that one of our people, uh, Master Twist, he made that. So if you ever ever want to fish, it's a good place to do it. And then we got our King of the Ladder. Uh, I think after we beat the dragon, somebody made this, and it just kind of stuck around. <laughs> nice. And then right over here is uh, right up there is our animal farms. If you want to get some animal stuff. And right here is the AFK fish farm that I made. So with this, uh, I just have a book that explained it, but something happened to it. But uh, with this, you just take a fishing pole out of the dropper right here, and then you'd like right click on the door, and hold it down, and it would automatically fish for you. So there's that. And then if we come over here, uh, Christian K to the two made. A, have you ever heard of Mad Libs? Yeah. Yeah, he made one of those not too long ago, actually, maybe a couple days. Uh, so yeah, here's Animal Farms, and then this is our enchanting room right here. Just simple enchanting room. We got an ender chest as well. Then go right here. Do you uh do you watch uh what's it called? Minecraft? Uh, not a whole lot, no. Oh, have you heard of the Death Games? Not particularly, no. Oh, pretty much this is like that. What it means is uh, if your name ever comes up in this chest, it means somebody who can come in here and grab this gear right here, and then come kill you. It's kind of a fun game that we play. So if you want to join that, you can can. And then if we go down here, just another shop that I made. It just sells a couple of things. So we got stained clay, we got some gold stuff. Uh, if you need some rails, this is probably a pretty good place. Got a lot of powered rails. And then uh, my shop works, the potion shop works off of vouchers. So if you come in here and buy a voucher, you can use those at the potion shop. And then the last thing in spawn is the geocaching. Have you heard of that? No. Geocaching. Uh, it's uh, pretty much like a treasure hunt. So uh, somebody would go down here, oops, 
and they would pick out a geocache they want. So far, we only have two because it's just made like a couple of days ago. Hold on one sec. Alright, sorry about that. Somebody would just come in here and they'd pick like a, a geocache that they want to find, and then they would have like hints to where it's at, and they would go find it, and they would just be like, you know, just try like, just look at treasure hunt. Pretty simple. So that's pretty much everything for spawn. Uh, do you want to go look at people's places, or do you really care that much about their places? Uh, you just gotta look at them later. I can look at them later. Right now, I probably need to get some food. <laughs> I can't I run anymore. Here you go. I got some potatoes for you. Thanks. So we got a wheat farm right here, and then right over there. Oh yeah, there's one more thing. So right over here would be another farm that has potatoes and carrots as well. And then we have our guest house. So if you just want a quick place to stay, right here we have a place just for that. Just go in here and claim our room. We've got a bed and everything. So if you want to use that. So yeah. Uh, yeah, I think that's, I think that's it. Uh, I was trying to think of our rules again. I, 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 I'm on the spot, so I can't remember. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, I had found a village way out, about 3,000 blocks out, and... Uh, I messed up, because I had obsidian, I had trouble obtaining obsidian, once I finally did got it set up by it was nighttime and the zombie apocalypse happened at the village and it's no longer usable there's no villagers there so I'm gonna learn from that mistake and hopefully I'm, I'm on my way back to spawn right now I'm just gonna go back there and probably just set up a temporary house you see I got a bunch of stuff in my inventory but I am hoping that I can somehow, I'm taking kind of a different direction this time than I did going out to the village I found. So I'm hoping I can stumble upon another village. That would be awesome. It might happen, might not. But either way, I did get some pretty good stuff from um, mining and stuff that was at the village and I did find a spider spawner and a zombie spawner in my travels so it wasn't all a waste hopefully I can find another village though I really hope so I because I really want to set up a, a village or a villager farm so I can make trades and get enchanted books that I can sell. Cause it kind of looks cool. Reminds me of uh, the Lion King, like Pride Rock a little bit. Maybe make my house right there. You know, it's the circle of life. Just maybe, just a thought. Okay, so my first order of business is I'm going to make. I'm going to actually I need iron as well. I'm gonna make a sugar cane farm. So for this build, we're gonna want to build it up kind of like the. I'll show you in a second. Okay, here's my inventory. This is what you want to have. You want to have a sign, sugar cane, a chest, 13 sugar cane. The, uh, this specific build, we're just doing 13. Um, a block of your choosing. I chose a mix of diorite and cobblestone. I'll show you the build in a second. One block of sand. Um, you actually only need 13 glass panes, a hopper, 14 pistons, a furnace, a repeater, a comparator, redstone, and one water bucket but you're gonna need to pour water twice so you'll need some kind of either two water buckets or a source of water nearby okay so what I did on the front here is 
I just use dirt. You can use sand. There's a myth that sand is better to grow sugar cane, but it's real, yeah, I don't think it matters. So you're going to want to place 13 blocks across in sand or dirt, you're choosing. And then in the back, I'll show you, you want to have 15 across in whatever block and two high. And then the sides, four wide, four high. And then you just want two wide going all the way across the top like this. And then find the middle which should be if you count the dirt, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven will be the middle. You wanna cut it out like this. Okay, so let's get started with the build. First, what I'm gonna do here is place a cobble block. I don't know why I had to do this, just to get see how the hoppers like attached to it. I don't know why I always have to do that. Because I, I can't seem to get it to work the regular way. So now it's still sticking out like that. And we'll take our chest. Place it there. And now we will go ahead and put the water down. Put one there on that side. And then one here on this side. Now that that's down, we can put down our sugar cane all the way across. Oh jeez, these mobs are coming for me. <laughs> Look at them. Okay, now on the front here, see how the water's coming down? Like I just, I don't like how it does that. And that's what our sign's for. We put that right there and it just stops doing that. And then we will have the glass panes. Now I'm gonna be careful with this. I actually do have three extra, but if you don't have silk touch, you want to be careful. Because if you place one wrong, then you lose it. Which I don't have silk touch at the moment, so place those carefully. There we go. So there, those are all placed. And now, actually, shoot. It would have been more optimal if we would have not placed the glass first. I don't know why I did that. But that's okay, we can get by. Uh, okay. So, so, you can do this a lot more efficiently if you don't place the glass first. But what we're gonna do here is just place that, place that. I wanna place all these pistons on the back here facing this direction. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Remember, we want 14 pistons, not 13. I know there's... I'll show you in a second why we need 14. Place that. Almost done. Got four more to place. Place that. That and that. There we go. Alright. That was a pain if I would have just put those first instead of the glass, but whatever. Alright, now we want to go up and we're going to grab our redstone and we're going to start right here and oh, come on. go all the way across and go like that these mobs just everywhere. I had to cut a little bit because they started attacking me. It's daytime now, so they are going to die off. Alright, now what we want to do is kill this guy. And I actually just realized I did this wrong. Kind of. I don't want that right there. And I need to eat. Which I mean, we also we don't need this right here. And we're gonna want to take this one out too. And just put that right there like that. Come 
on, man. Get out of here. Okay. And I'm gonna put the sand. Oh, no, 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 no. That was sand. You don't want. You want sand on there, not sandstone. And then get that diorite. Put that there. That there. That there. Oh, oh, come on. I suck at parkour. And then that, and that. There we go. And put two redstone right there. And grab your comparator. Put your comparator right there. Actually, I think I want it facing... I'm not sure if it matters, but I do want it facing the other way. And grab the repeater. The repeater right there. That. And then, um. What are we missing? Our stove. Put the stove right there. Oh, uh, I forgot this part. I didn't mention this, but we need. You need 14 of. Any particular item. 14. Put that in the furnace. And there we go. That powers the comparator. So now everything should work. We'll go around to the front and test it out. We put this up here. There you go. And we'll wait. Let's see if it goes in the hopper. I think I might have picked it up, I'm not sure. Put one way down there. Yeah, I just picked it up right now. Okay. Now, no, don't let me pick that up. Now, it goes downstream, goes in the hopper, and in the chest. So, every time the sugar cane grows up another block, the pistons automatically start going and punch it out. And the reason the glass is here to block it from flying out here. And it'll go in the water, eventually get down to the piston and go in the chest. And that's your automatic piston farm, or I'm sorry, sugar cane farm. I'll actually got a couple more signs. I'll go ahead and Put down, okay, Renegades, Automatic, Sugar Cane, Winter Farm, yeah, okay, and then put another sign here. Actually, instead of putting free, take what you want. I'm just gonna just just uh, build this to have my first contribution to spawn. I mean, it, as you saw, it it took me maybe five ten minutes to build this. Honestly, it took me longer to gather up supplies to build it. Really, so it's a really simple build. I do actually have another build for a sugarcane farm I plan on doing down the road, and it's a lot more massive than this. It's not this simple. And that, uh, because you can, you can, with this build, you can build a tower, and that, I, I will build it eventually. I don't know if I'll build it at spawn or at my house, but... Eventually, it's gonna. The reason I'm not gonna build it now is because you need so many supplies. You need hundreds of pistons, a crap load of redstone. I mean, I'll go show you guys how much redstone I have right now. I think I have like 20 blocks, but I don't have enough to <laughs> even close to enough to. 
build this towering sugarcane farm. Now I got a few other ideas for farms as well. This isn't the only one. Let's see, 22 blocks. Alright guys, that was my first episode. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.